Ah, Paris, city of light, city of rats. The Eiffel Tower, overrun by hungry rodents, rats nibbling outside Notre Dame, snacking along the Champs Elysees. Experts estimate there's two rats for every Parisian. That's around four million rats. Ugh, disgusting. Gross. <laughs> At France's oldest exterminator shop, featured in the film Ratatouille, business is booming. A lot of rats means a lot of business for you. We, oui, if it's owner yeah, Cecile yeah, Ruse yeah. says construction projects and flooding have forced rats above ground, prompting a campaign to rid the streets of rodents, setting traps and encouraging Parisians to rat out litter bugs. But for this district mayor, that's not enough. Frustrated with what he says is the city's slow response, he's launched an app to report rat infestations. It's a very big problem, it's an important, huge problem. A single pair of rats can make dozens of pups a year, multiplying into a colony of hundreds. I think that rats in Paris have a bum rap. Alyssa Salzberg is an American writer living in Paris who says that rats may be doing more good than harm. They eat the trash that we make. They eat what's left over from picnics that people won't pick up themselves. Some Parisians love their furry neighbors. Animal rights activist Claudine Dupere says extermination is plain wrong. Rats and humans, she says, have to find a way to live together. Lucy Kafanov, NBC News, Paris. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.